So this is my first time cracking open the uh, new Spider-Man from the two-pack with Mary Jane. That's no surprise. It's on the same mold as the black suit Spider-Man. And you can see here, the reason I cracked this open is because once again, the shoulders are stuck. So I've already got him cracked open. Uh, but just to give you an idea as to how I do crack these open, I usually take a small flathead screwdriver, very small. Uh, like a eyeglass repair screwdriver and I'll usually go in right here there's always a seam and since he's already cracked right now and kind of loose you can see where that seam rides up and then you'll need to go in pop off the top of the head go in through the top of the neck on the right, right here and then you slowly bring it down follow the seam down and usually that'll just kind of crack on its own the problem that you run into as I'll show you here real kind of quickly you've got a peg here inside and there's also one here inside as well that one looks kind of funny because what I had to do is bring my Dremel in through the top of the head and uh, cut it because uh, otherwise you risk if you try to like take pliers and go in and pry if you were to kind of go in here and pry it apart you'll risk breaking all of this. All of this can snap right off or you'll get big fat stress marks on the uh, outside and it can completely warp the plastic permanently. So that's basically how I crack open all of these. Um, if you needed to crack the chest open, I always say turn it like a screw, like basically turn it like this. And you'll go in through the bottom and you can see a seam right there. Uh, or through the back and it's less obvious uh, if you cause any damage there it's basically the same way to get the suited torso off as well so just a little idea as to how to crack open one of these torsos right here you can see here's where the joints are the pegs and they simply you see that they're just they're stuck you can actually watch it it'll bring itself back the better in focus. There we go. Yeah, so this is just a constant issue that Hasbro, I guess, either they already had these things printed. And you can tell this one's about to rip. Um, you can see the stress marks in there and whatnot. Check this out. So I got a nice sturdy pick here. And you want to get in under here. Hope I don't stab myself in the thumb because I don't have much leverage. I mean, this thing is, look at that, it's actually bending the plastic, it's in there so tight. What you really want to do is go in, like right here from the side, so right here, get some light on it, you should be able to just pry it up, you should be able to, man, is it in there, look at that, I've actually got it out and it is, it's actually hanging on. So the plastic had already fused in there. This is such poor QC. Wow, there we go. <laughs> <sighs> All right, so I'm gonna start off by dribbling down the peg here, just a little bit, just flattening it out, uh, just so it's not as thick, so we don't have to go inside and dribble the hard plastic. <laughs> Cool thing about this is if you go down too far, you can always add a little super glue to harden it, which we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be doing that anyway. I gotta drill a hole in here in a minute, and I wanna put a screw all the way down in there just so it gives it a little more added durability. Because right now you can just I don't know why they made these so weak. Now you might actually be able to get away with this, like keeping it in there as is, but I like to put a screw down the middle just in case. It gives it a little added durability, uh, especially with and it seems weird, but the seems like the right arms. Are worse always than the left arms and I can already see where this one I don't know you probably can't even tell if I was to take these pliers you might be able to see if and I'm not gripping this very tight but you can just see that it 
if you focus on that little divot it's right about here it uh it's very easy to bend and that's how these things get broke so we'll do the exact same thing just shave off a little bit like a millimeter or two peel off the excess that leaves behind. A lot of times what I'll do with this, if you don't have fingernails, which mine are kind of nasty right now, but you can take a razor blade and you can take a razor blade kind of like this and just, just scrape it along the edge and it'll usually take off any of the excess plastic. What we're going to do next is I'll take a small Dremel bit, I'll drill down into here, not too far because you don't want to go too far in or you'll hit your twist, your peg here, and that'll completely cancel out this motion. Uh, but we'll go in probably about a uh, quarter of an inch. So that's all the way through here uh, up to probably right about here. And I uh, will insert a small little screw. I use these very tiny eye hooks. Um, for those of you who don't know what an eye hook is, it's literally kind of what you hang plants from ceilings with and it looks much like this and for scale wise I guess <laughs> here's one up against Spidey's wrist so you can see just how tiny it is I use these on imports and um, just about every kind of figure fix I do just because they're easy kind of easy to cut uh, because they're so thin but they also provide a astoundingly a lot of um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, strengthens. <laughs> I know there's a better word, but it'll actually strengthen the joint. So, let's try to show you how far I can go in. Kind of start it off right there. You want to stay in the middle. Semi in the middle. <laughs> see this is what was happening before already it's starting to tear off so this is a good move anyway to uh, make sure we're going to strengthen this pretty well and another thing whenever you drill in it's a good idea to go ahead and twist the joint just in case you did go all the way through to make sure if you put a screw in there and you did happen to get a little bit into a joint that it's not going to screw all the way into it and you know, lock it up. Since this was starting to tear, we want to go ahead and put a little dab of super glue on here. And then we'll bring that down. And this will actually strengthen the peg itself, but we don't want that to dry just yet. What we want to do is we want to take a little super glue on here and it's good to start kind of in the middle and work your way to the top. Don't really go to the bottom because if you go to the bottom it could uh, potentially stick inside to uh, whatever it'll be touching like the edge. Okay so we've laced this with super glue now what we want to do is just twist her in. And since we've already dremeled a hole, yeah, see, since that was ripping, it's trying to come apart. But since we laced this with super glue and we put super glue in here already, this will get it to a nice tight fit. And so, what you also want to do before this starts to dry, twist, make sure you're good. So this will be a solid fix right here. Okay, so since we already have our screw put in and super glued, you want to grab some clippers real quick and just kind of get near the edge. Basically as close to the peg as you can and you'll start clipping them. I'm trying to do this close so you guys can see it. And that'll come right off. Uh, usually I like to get a little closer than that, but what you can actually do is if you take your Dremel 
since you've got this awkward metal shard sticking out and you don't want to stab yourself, you can take a sanding bit from your Dremel, assuming you have one, it's a little bit wider. So we'll attach this. This is one of the most used tools I have in my Dremel. Now keep in mind this will heat up the plastic a bit if you're not careful, so it also can shard plastic. Just like that, it's flat. Another thing I like to do is after I've added the screw and sanded it, I like to put super glue over the top just to add a little protective layer on the top and it also smooth out any other kind of uh, imperfections. And so now you should just be able to put this in the slot. And there you go. So now what we'll do is we'll take our super glue. And be very careful, like I said, don't hit the joints. You just kind of lace the edges. This big spot here in the middle. Possibly hit this little joint, but I'm not sure. Since I said I cut it, but yeah, you just want to stay along these lines. Like I said, be very mindful of wherever any joints are, especially right in here. This is crazy sensitive. You don't want to lock up the abs. You definitely don't want to lock up these arms because those will tear right off. That should be it. I'll take this front piece. What you want to do is go down in the abs first. Make sure it locks. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take both my hands now and close each piece up. So after you've super glued it, what you want to do is also check each joint while this thing is still drying. Just to make sure everything's still in place. And after a minute or two, you'll know. If things start getting tighter or whatever, you can either crack it back open or make sure you can just like move it around to where it'll just tighten the joint like the old super glue trick. Arms are bending. Arms are bending. Shoulders are moving as they should. Waist, abs, neck. Just like that, we're back together. And that's it. Now, here's Spidey. Should be good. Whip sling again.